Hi guys, welcome to the episode 5 of Medicine PYG topic series. I have come with yet another very important topic that is inflammatory bowel disease, a comparison between ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. So let's get started. So the PYQ question uh, which came in the NEET 2019 uh, was as such, all of the following are features of Crohn's disease except uh, transmural involvement, lead pipe appearance, rectal sparring and perianal fistula. So the answer here is lead pipe appearance, uh, which is a feature in ulcerative colitis. We'll quickly see the comparison between the two and then we'll get back to this question and we'll also discuss important potential questions which can be asked. So ulcerative colitis versus Crohn's disease. This is a comparison. In Crohn's disease, the most common presentation is iliocolitis with rectal sparring. So rectum is sparred. In ulcerative colitis, there is proctitis. The age of onset is more or less similar in both. Then the protective factors is none in Crohn's disease. In ulcerative colitis, it is believed to be smoking and appendicectomy. Uh, in the risk factors for Crohn's disease is OCP, smoking and antibiotic use during the first year of life and in ulcerative colitis, alpha-methyl dopa. Then the T-cell involvement, this is a potential question. Uh, in Crohn's disease, TH1. In ulcerative colitis, is TH2. So earliest finding in Crohn's disease is aphthous ulcer, whereas in ulcerative colitis, it is erythematous mucosa with a fine granular surface. Continuing, uh, physical examination in Crohn's disease, uh, mostly constant pain in right lower quadrant is noted. Uh, palpable abdominal mass could be felt and low grade fever could be present. Whereas in ulcerative colitis, painful defecation, mostly pain located in left lower quadrant with abdominal cramps, tenderness, tachycardia and orthostatic hypotension may be noted. The gross findings or endoscopic findings in Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, uh, this part is very important you can get potential questions from this all of the findings so in crohn's disease there is transmural involvement there is all the layers are involved there is segmental involvement skip lesions is a very important word in crohn's disease which differentiate it from ulcerative colitis where there is continuous involvement then uh, cobblestone appearance creeping fat and longitudinal ulcers can be found in crohn's disease whereas in ulcerative colitis like collar button ulcers backwash ileitis and mucosal involvement and pseudopolyps can be found Microscopic findings uh, like deep knife ulcers, granulomas and pyloric metaplasias are findings of Crohn's disease. Whereas in ulcerative colitis, cryptitis and cryptapsis are very characteristic of ulcerative colitis. Complications, fistulas, strictures are more seen in Crohn's disease. Whereas in ulcerative colitis, hemorrhage, toxic megacolon are the complications. Recurrence is more common in Crohn's disease. Whereas in ulcerative colitis, it's uncommon, curative after resection. Radiological findings in Crohn's disease are aphthous ulcer, rose thorn appearance and in ulcerative colitis the lead pipe appearance and mucosal granularity. The antibody, this is another potential question, is in Crohn's disease SK, in ulcerative colitis it's PNK. PNK can also be found in Crohn's disease but the percentage is very low. Now coming to certain extra intestinal manifestation which is common to both uh, like episcleritis, uveitis, migratory polyarthritis ankylosing spondylitis, sacroiliitis, erythema nodosum. Then pyoderma gangrenosum is more common in ulcerative colitis. Renal calculi is more common in Crohn's disease. And this is another important, very important finding. In fact, there is primary sclerosing cholangitis. It is most often associated with ulcerative colitis. Now, coming to certain images is important. Like in Crohn's disease, we can see there's skip lesions. Whereas in ulcerative colitis, generally there is a continuous involvement and uh, there is rectal sparring in Crohn's disease whereas in ulcerative colitis there is proctitis. This is another table with pictures we can uh, quickly go to the comparison. So in ulcerative colitis the crypt abscess is the important part. In Crohn's disease the transmural involvement is all the layers involved. Then the associated condition in ulcerative colitis this primary sclerosing cholangitis is very important whereas in Crohn's disease nephrolithiasis is more commonly seen. Uh, coming to the radiological pictures, the, this is how lead pipe appearance is seen and uh, collar button ulcers, these are findings in ulcerative colitis. Uh, in Crohn's disease, cobblestone appearance can be seen and string of cantor appearance. Uh, also rose thorn appearance and aphthous ulcers are also features of Crohn's disease. Now going back uh, to the question, uh, all of the following are features of Crohn's disease except so now since we have had a good comparison between the two topics, uh, now we know the answer here is lead pipe appearance which is fine in ulcerative colitis. So besides the medicine part, 
there are also many potential questions from all these tables. For example, this T cell involved gross findings or endoscopic findings and then the antibody which is found. So I would suggest you can take a screenshot of all these tables and uh, save it somewhere so that you can revise it just before the exam. I hope this video was useful guys. Till then, keep studying, keep revising. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.